Many of you are familiar with my baggie method for starting seeds, and it's one of my most popular videos. In this video, I'd like to address a question I get quite a bit, and that's about moldy seeds in the baggie method. Why do I get moldy seeds, and how do I prevent moldy seeds? If you're not familiar with this method, I'll put a link to it at the end of this video. But it's a very simple way for starting seeds. And I've started over 2,000 different species of seeds this way. So I know it works quite well. In my experience, viable seeds don't get moldy. And I don't do anything to prevent that mold. I prepare these at my desk, which isn't particularly clean. I mean, there's dust and mold spores everywhere. The paper towels I use, I cut them up ahead of time and they might be sitting there for weeks or even months before I use them. So now the mold has settled on those, at least on the top one. I don't use any special water either. I just use my tap water for this. I don't wash or soak the seeds unless it's required for pretreatment. And then I, I just soak them in water. I don't soak them in things like peroxide and so on to try and sterilize these seeds. Now, do I get moldy seeds? Yes, from time to time I do. Sometimes a whole package gets moldy, but that's rare. I also find packages where a few seeds will get moldy and the others are fine. That's much more common. And if I see a moldy seed, I usually just take it out. Now, I don't know this for sure, but my sense is that if I get good quality seed that's viable, I don't see mold. When I get seed that has a lot of chaff in it, the chaff can create mold. It's not the seeds themselves, but it's the chaff. It's the organic matter that starts to decompose and gets moldy. So it's important to have clean seed from that perspective. Get that chaff out of there. But on the other hand, I've had some plants that make seed that is very fine, and I really can't tell the difference between seed and chaff. And I just put it all in here. A couple of jerseys are like that. Very fine seed. And I still got good germination. I'm pretty convinced that if seed gets moldy in here, it's due to the fact that that seed is not viable. It's not alive. It's basically dead organic matter. And the mold has an easy time in attacking that. That dead organic matter is food for the mold, so it grows on. In the rest of the package and on the paper towel where there are no seeds and there's no organic matter, I get very little mold growth. Now, if every seed you do ends up moldy, you're, you're obviously doing something wrong. And maybe you want to start sterilizing them or try to keep your desk area cleaner. But as I said, I don't really do that. To give you an example, I'm going to go through a few of these bags and show you the seeds. Explain how old they are. Because I keep some of these in here for a long time. And maybe that will give you more confidence that this system really works. The first one here is Sambucus abulus. This seed pack was made around January of 2017. And if you have a look, there's very little mold. The paper towel still looks quite clean. Uh, there's one or two seeds that have a bit of mold spots on them, but most of the seeds are quite clean. So this has been in here now for five years, and it still isn't a moldy problem. Let me explain how I handle these seeds. I generally get my seed in January and I put them in baggies pretty quickly. Some of those need stratification, so they will go in the fridge for two to three months. The ones that don't need that, they just sit on my desk and I wait for germination to take place. The ones in the fridge come out in early spring and I leave them warm to see if they'll germinate. As they germinate, I pot them up. Anything that's not germinated by early summer, I put back in the fridge. I don't really want germination taking place in summer and fall. And so I put them in the fridge and I generally keep them there until late fall, maybe November, December. Then I turn my lights on inside so I'm ready for seedlings again. And I start taking these out and warming them up. And hopefully this second warm cycle will cause them to germinate. And that does happen with a lot of them. So now they'll be in the warm temperatures for four or five months. And if they haven't germinated, they go back into the fridge. And we just repeat that cycle over and over again. When needed, I add a little bit water, but I just open the bag a little bit, squirt the water in and close it again. Here's an iris that was started in 2017. 
Now, several of the seeds have germinated, and I'm just waiting for the rest of them to maybe germinate this spring. You can see that several of the seeds look quite good, and then there's one in the center there that's obviously gone moldy. That, that seed has died, and mold has grown around it. The baggie has some black spots, so a bit of mold has grown over the years. But again, these have been in here for five years, so you'd expect a bit of mold. But the seeds still look good, and in fact, this spring, two of these germinated and I have them growing in pots right now. These are some tree peonies I collected in Victoria. Uh, that's out in Vancouver area in British Columbia. This was maybe three years ago. Uh, several of them have germinated and these last three are just hanging on. Again, very little mold. The seeds are very firm. There's a very good chance these will still germinate. This package are some fringe trees. Now, fringe trees are very hard to germinate, and I haven't had a lot of luck over the years, but I keep trying. Uh, this package was started in 2020, so that's two years ago. And you can see there's two seeds in here. One looks quite good, the one on the right. There's a little brown coloration around it, but that's just brown coloration coming out of the seed itself. The one on the left was looking okay last year, but it's now gotten moldy and I'm pretty sure this isn't viable anymore and I should take it out of the package. Now this is my oldest seed package. Th this is Halicia carolina and they were started in 2013. It's now 2022. I had a few of these germinate and it took five years for them to germinate. It's the longest I've ever waited for seed. Now I may have replaced the paper towel at one time during that long period, but you can see the seeds still look good and very little mold, few spots. So clearly the seeds can stay in this baggy system for years and not get covered in mold, provided they're viable seeds. Now if you are having a lot of trouble with your seeds, you can put a little peroxide in your water and you could soak the seeds in peroxide, but not very long. Peroxide can damage seeds. So I would only use that if you are having a real problem. I have a whole set of videos on starting seeds and I'll put a link to those in the bottom right corner. Good luck with your seedlings.